Ah, the smell of rubber. So I narrowly missed a donut. Zoom 360 here on the go, and uh, so this is a this is an impromptu. Is that the correct word? Impromptu vlog. Uh, I just caught wind of a meet happening today in El Paso, and it's gonna be on Gateway. I think 8300 Gateway, and then oh, it's supposed to be there for about an hour, and then it goes up to Trans Mountain. So. I thought it was interesting that it's gonna start there then end over there. Um, I'm probably not gonna be riding along with people going there because I know how people like to drive from there to Trans Mountain because I think they're probably gonna take the 375 all the way up there and I don't wanna get caught in that because like the people <laughs> will probably be driving exceedingly fast and probably not that good drivers. But uh, uh, so we're, we're going over there just to see what's up. This is an impromptu. I'm not even sure if this is gonna make it in the vlog, but here we go. It is 7.50 and we, we still have plenty of light, so I think. So it, it, it starts at eight, but I don't think I have a full tank of gas. I think I'm gonna get some gas first, but uh, we will be there, but fashionably late, I think. So, which is not the first time. So, you know, we're always fashionably late, so. See, Carfield is completely out of control. Scratching people's cars and stuff. I hope you don't do that to my car and stuff, man. Stop following me. Get away. I hope you don't do that to my cars and like scratch the paint off and stuff. What's the matter with you? Crazy cat. It's Garfield. Yeah. Yeah, you go in there, Garfield. So, Lucille, our beloved Veloster, is still in line to get wrapped. Um, should be happening mid-July, as far as I was told. So, I still gotta get the graphic digitally done for it, which I will be doing that soon. But yeah, let's go ahead and pack up and get some gas. And then we'll go from there. We need some gas. I mean, not too much, but you know, just a little. So I'm going to my favorite gas station here. There <coughs> There's a Valero gas station that's close to close to here. That for some reason, that specific gas station has the best gas prices in El Paso. Or <laughs> it's like I remember a while ago I did did do the calculation. I think it's like 40. I think it's like 40, uh, 40 cents a gallon. And I'm not trying to say which gas station it is, but we're going there now <laughs> to get some, uh, to get some uh, good cheap, cheap gas. Um, yeah, like for some reason that, that specific one Valero, on average you save about 40 cents a gallon and 
the way that prices are right now, hey, every cent counts. So we're here at my favorite Valero. Are you gonna drive away or, or keep staring? For some reason, <laughs> now the, at what is it called? The CK franchise, whatever down there. It's at least, the 91 is at least for something. But for some reason, this specific Valero on average, you say about 40 cents a gallon, and I always try to come and fill up here just because, obviously. So, let's get some gas. At 371 a gallon, and though it's it's still expensive, is the best price in town. And for some reason, is this specific Valero. So looks like this place is south of I-10. I'm not a fan of hanging out too much or too long south of I-10, but <laughs> let's do it. Plot for your destination. Ooh, that is a steep, that is a steep turn into this. Trying to get out of here is gonna be interesting because the turn is so steep. Jeez. I think, but I think, I think we should be able to do it just, cause I think going in, it's always easy, but trying to come out on, on a on a high incline always sucks. But oh, okay, I've I've been here a long time ago. Actually, isn't there like a movie theater? Yeah, back in 2014, <laughs> when my friend Mark came to visit from Germany, we actually went to the movie movies right here. I think we saw Transformers. I'm not sure exactly which one, but look like I see some cars here. So let's hang out. <laughs> We got the perfect spot, look at that. I'm taking all these spaces, <laughs> all three spaces. Oh my gosh, it's time to turn her off. Woo! Just a few more months, Suki, bear with me. We are here and uh, I don't know, I guess an aerial view, an aerial view would be in order.
let's walk around and see see what that we can see we got the the ever so suspicious camaro that's just standing there and deciding whether it should park or not of course no 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 schmidt is a uh, schmidt without a suspicious camaro i think i've seen this car before this uh, charger with the lambo doors so i'm i'm feeling very nervous about the entrance um I, I hope there's a different entrance because that entrance is one heck of an incline and I think it's easier to come in but probably gonna be hard to get out but we'll see so I think we might be a little bit early or I don't think this is all that's gonna show up but we have some cars here uh, we have a right hand 240 those cars are so much fun this is like your one of the best drift cars in my opinion he is yeah, this is a, what, what, I think those are what the 240. Um, no, it's not a 240. Or, or, or is it a 240? I don't know. But you guys know what car this is, and his is a right-hand drive. So this is the JDM. I'm pretty sure these, these are the 240. 240s. Yep, this is a Nissan 240. Those are great drift cars. Love them. So what the heck is going on here? Uh-huh. Of course you got your two four you got your uh Subaru WRX that I really want but I can't buy because that's not the next car. I really like this one. So here is a car I haven't seen before. I haven't seen this car before. Here we go. Ooh, WRXs. I love WRXs, man. Oh, they look so good. It looks so good. I like this. Oh, Jesus. And then this guy brought it out of me. I like this. Mm. Functional hood scoop. Very functional. Oh my God, these cars are so. I want one so much. But I can't buy it. It's not the next car. I have to be disciplined. Every fiber of my being want one of these. Oh my God, the wing. This has got to be the lowest car here. Jeez. So low, so low. I like I like the stance though. Very good. Looks this looks really good. This is this I like. This is a great looking stance. Right there. Right there. I like it. So low. Please be on air. Please be on air. 
So I also hear that that it's not like as reliable. Let's say, com- say compared to a two Jay Z or, or like the RB twenty six. It's, 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 it's not. It's, I mean, that, that's you, true. They're not bad. Right. And as long as you take care of them. Right. Because uh, you know, like they're famous for the Ringland for like breaking the piston rings. Mm-hmm. All Subarus have that, but. I guess just because people start to mod them and they don't know exactly what they're doing. Okay. And they start like pushing the limits a lot and stuff. So So then Yeah, when I had it without the turbo, I had no issue at all. Okay. Not so what issue turbo. have you had since you, you put the turbo? Uh, I, uh, ever since I put the turbo it's been like well like two two, three months. Uh-huh. And well now it's got a build engine. Okay, so then you, you yeah, you've I, done the internals then. Yeah, internals are already done. Already okay. So. Did you do it yourself or did you have somebody nah, else do it? No, I paid a shop so they can assemble the engine, but uh, Patterson, you know Patterson? Perfect. Yes, yes, so I do I know them. I took my car there because I've been buying like parts from them since I got the car. Mm-hmm. And uh, we talked. Uh, it was it was an engine failure because it sucked water through the intake. I was supercharged at that time. Okay. And it was raining like hell and crazy. Oh, uh, yeah, I was wondering where did the water come from? Okay, yeah, it, it was raining. It just uh, sucked water in the engine and then it actually... It's a great looking car. Just, just spoke with the owner. His name is Irvin, cool guy. Patterson Performance did his engine and there might be one of the people to do my car too. I'm not sure, but I like that exhaust, man. Look at that. Jeez. This thing is huge. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. Ah, the smell of rubber. So I narrowly missed a donut that was just done by the infamous Z. But so I have to go see this thing because I think um, I have to figure out which way I'm gonna leave from. These are these are the problems of. <laughs> having a lowered car so uh these are the problems of having a lowered car so we're over here gosh my car sticks out it really does <laughs> jeez um so coming in i came in through here right uh i didn't realize that until it was too late but i could have sworn this is also the same the same exit I had or used back in 2015 I mean 14 but I'm not sure more donuts more donuts as long as you're not doing it close to my car man we're good as long as you're not doing it close to my car we're good um so oh my gosh I'm not sure if you can see that but I'm not sure if I'll be able to clear this because I came down this road and I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to clear it leaving, but I could have sworn, I could have sworn that this is the exit I took back in 2014, but I think my exhaust pipe somewhere in the midsection is gonna rub severely <laughs> oh, no, oh my goodness oh well screw it um i think back in the day that's the exit i took too so i think if we're able to get on oh my gosh that car just just used it it looks so painful but uh i think that's gonna be the exit too because i'm sure there's an exit there but there are some huge speed bumps i have to go over and I kind of don't want to do that, uh, not with, uh, yeah, not with the splitters, not with the splitters. Uh oh, look like somebody called the police because a couple of people were misbehaving. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna if we're gonna go to Trans Mountain though. I don't think that I'm gonna go to Trans Mountain, but it is now. 
9 30 and I, I and I don't think I'm gonna go to Trans Mountain so I think that this schmeat which is a small meat is over and it's okay this is zoom 360 inviting you to get up get out and do it go to car meets I've met two cool people tonight um, get up get out and do it if you've never been to a car meet and you like cars you're a car guy do it um, just get out there man life happens out there like subscribe and share and I'm out Veloster? NA that's making all this noise?